Hello boys and girls, welcome back for another issue of Toy Loving Teachers. Um, we are excited because as you can see, really, we really have a toy haul today. There are so many great new and some of our old favorite um, surprise toys coming out that we just couldn't resist. Plus, we just got two new LOL surprise fuzzy pets in the mail. And so we have to open up both of them so we can play with them right away. You know what? I'm going to say, let's start out with an LOL fuzzy pet. So they come in this cute container. It's got a weird shape at the top, which has me curious. This is the Makeover series. And it says, wash me. My girls have warned me that there is some washing involved. We have water ready. Let me see if I can get the tear part started. So, we found our first little code, and it is Be Fuzzy, which makes sense because from what I understand, these are fuzzy. And then, the container looks like this. My fuzz is so fly. Oh, this one's a tough one, and I even have the wrong nails. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry for my handling in there. It's a pink container, so we're not thinking or feeling like it's rare. My daughters have some secret hopes on who they want in it. Oh, I might pull up the scissors and see if I can get it started. There we go. Okay, um, is there supposed to be something in this layer? No, um, oh, okay, next. Um, the next layer coming off, oh, and it looks like a little shampoo bottle, which is adorable. There's this water at the top, and now to take out the items, here is, um, you know what we call the map. And so it has a poster. And then on the back, there's cats and birds and horses. Um, looks like a raccoon. I don't, and a bunny and a flying monkey. So let's see what we find today. There is this, I'm not sure what this magnifying glass is, but it's showing up really well on the camera. There's some glitteriness. Let's start with this bag. And in this bag, oh, it looks like the handle for our purse. So we'll put that off to the side. And then in this bag, mm, this will give my girls a clue. It appears to be a blue harness of types. I see some excitement off stage. Let's see here. In this bag is a little pink scooper. And it's, oh, if you, oh, I'm sorry, I was off camera. It has like a can on the top as the detail. And then, oh, we have pop in the little water. Um, now, for the animal, oh my goodness, boys and girls, this is crazy. Take a look at how fuzzy this is. Now, it does come with directions, an owner's manual. And it, it feels like, huh, here's the directions. Like I should have a Q-tip or something. Um, I think I can pour water, but it almost feels like I'm supposed to pour water in the top part. 
Oh, and then it's like a shower. Or I can just dip it in water. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think I'm just going to dip it in some water. So it's a pink fuzzy mess. I could make designs in it, but we don't have time for that in our show. Um, well, definitely takes in water. It seems to be a spitter, but I don't know how to get this off. It's supposed to kind of fleck off. Um, oh, I do. The water is turning pink. Oh, look at you do see it coming off. We're going to, oh, it scrapes off. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. And while I let our, our thing sit for a little bit, um, and now my hands are all wet. I have to dry them off. We are going to open this. I think my daughter is going to go take care of giving our fuzzy friend a bath. Um, and then we can reveal exactly which one we have. I'm not sure, so sure what this sparkly magnifying glass is for. I'm a little confused by that. Um, I wonder, so we have some blue kitty litter sand in there. And it's neat, there's a stamp on the cover. LOL with footprints and a heart. Um, I think, from what I'm hearing, it's kind of a filter for our camera. Which would be fun to shoot it. We have little, can I get that clear? Come on. Oh, it's getting so blurry. Let's see if I hold it back a little bit. Yep, there you can see little blue shoes in here. And then, oops. Yep, another little blue shoe. And another. So four shoes, and another. I don't think anything else is in this sand and it's making a mess on my house, but just was vacuumed. So if we take our friend, um, we got this one and its name is Raccoon Stronaut. And we will get it all dressed up. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Um, I'll dip it in some cold water. Oh, oh, wait till you see this. Um, she gets some like polka dots, kind of like some alien polka dots on her forehead and cheeks. Oh, but also when it looks as if she's getting a swimsuit. Let's get the, her in there. Come on. Her bottom turns a little pink and it's like she's wearing some pants. So that's adorable. I'm gonna let my girls get her all ready and get her set up and we're gonna go to the next item. Um, we're gonna change some gears and we are gonna do this little fun thing. It looks like a lightsaber, but from what I understand it has Mashems in them. Um, my, oh, Microforce. Excuse me, Microforce. And we could get one or we could get four. So let's get this party started. Look at my little book. Oh, the container gets even neater because it really looks like a lightsaber now. Let's see if I can cut that away quick. Um, okay, and so now I'm a little curious as to how we open this. I see some friends, oh, <gasps> okay, so we got Darth Vader. Let's see if I can, oh, he's got some neat detail on him. And then we got Ray, I believe is her name, with her awesome ponytail. And then we got this blue one. I am unsure of the blue one. Now, let's see if in our lightsaber handle. 
Oh, we did get another, you guys. We got another crystal blue one. And then... Um... We got some decorations for the lightsaber and some stickers. Now, if we look at this, um, we got, it appears to be the blue Princess Leia. We got Darth Vader and we got Rey. And then we also got the blue Boba Fett. So super, super exciting. That was a fun toy. And um, I guess this is supposed to be a filter. If you put it on for your phone to make things sparkly. Um, let's add our new figures. And oops, my little raccoon shoes popped off. There we go. They'll be saving area. Oh, Ray has her back. Now let's go to one of my favorites. You know me. I love my llamas. Who's your llama? One of the newer series coming out. I haven't, I'll be honest with you, even really seen these in a store. Oh my goodness. Um, it looks like a new llama that we have. So last time we got a llama, and if you remember from the last episode, or if you haven't seen it yet, go back and watch it was different than this guy. My students at school love him. This one, oh, boys and girls, it is a tongue sticker. The tongue sticks out. That's adorable. Now let's see what else it, it looks like. Maybe headphones? No, maybe skateboard. Oh, it look, oh my goodness gracious, you guys, this is hilarious. We got the trauma llama, um, so our llama might have had a skateboarding accident, and so our llama comes with a cast and a cone of shame. Well, that's what we call it in puppy world. It's not a cone of shame with trauma llama. We are just joking with you. I'm sorry it's off camera. I'm just trying to get it on and snap it on and then we can put it right back there and it can ride in a little wheelchair that's adorable we love our trauma llama i'm gonna send it to my girls to get finished setting up um oh these little raccoon shoes it's as if raccoons don't want to wear shoes oh the shoe popped right off raccoon we'll get it after the show let's do some Nom Nom Dippers. You know I'm a huge fan of these. These are from Series 2. And let's see what we have today. We have a cookie. Um, the cookie appears to have some spots. I'm sorry, boys and girls. The camera is set up in a different spot for me today, and I'm not used to it. Um, we're going to add some ice cubes. I'm going to stick my cookie in the water, and I'm going to pass the sheet to my daughters. Let's open up the second bag. While my cookie is getting cold. Oh! And we have this, a little blue and pink. So we have sugar cream cookie, which is rare, and then... Um, we have Cotton Candy Waffle Twins. Um, ooh, and they smell amazing. They smell really, really good. Now, oh, I gotta stick my hand in the cold water, but look at our cookie after it was in the water. Adorable. So we'll put that by Baby Lloyd. And now, time for our Dunkaroo surprise. So the different types we can get um, I hope it's not a gross one. I hope, oh, I hope it's guacamole, but it's not. That's a disappointment. We have some type of red going on. Man, do you remember back in the beginning episodes when all I got was ketchup? That was disgusting. 
this is hard to get off. It smells kind of berry-ish. I think it's cherry syrup. Be nope, it's got glitter in it. If you could look closely, it has a little bit of sheen, which makes me think it's strawberry jam because it has that glittery sheen. Maybe I pull some things out. How many things are supposed to be in here? Just one, and I think I found it. And, oh, it's a little tomato. This is tiny tomato. Oh, we love her. What a great addition. Let's pass this on over. And we're going to get some of our friends out into our viewing audience. So, oh, don't mind the noise. We'll get our llama out and our tomato out. You know, let's stick with the nom noms. And this is a newer one. It was newer than what we had seen before. It's a Snackables. Um, they smell so delicious, but these, I, from what I hear, you open in different ways. Oh, I made a big mess of that. And that's not usually me. I just really broke that box. I was so excited. Let's see here. You know what? I'm going to have to break the box. There was no other way for me to get in. They taped this well. Okay, so the box, the detail is adorable. It looks like a little um, food box that you would get. And then there's the map. So there's different pizza crusts. You could get an egg, which I think is what our family's hoping for. Crackers, ice cream sandwiches, BLTs, breads. And then there's scented slimes and little bits. So what will we get today? Well, let's take a look at it. Our first piece out of our bag is going to be an ice cream scoop. It's got a mint green handle. I wonder if an ice cream scoop is a hint. You know, I think we did get some ice cream now that I'm thinking of it. Um, because this one, if you can kind of see through the bag, looks like an ice cream sandwich piece. It is looking like we got a strawberry smelling, no berry biscuits, and oh, these smell delightful. And here's cute little detail that Nom Nom is so good at. It has a little tail on the back of the back ice cream wafer. Okay. So then our next. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, is this little thing. It's got a little strawberry bottom. This is strawberry slice. Nope, it's not because it's not bunny ears. This is Carla Crimson. Um, and Carla Crimson, I wonder if she's like a blood orange, but I'm not quite sure. She's sweet. She's a fruit. And then here comes the exciting part. Oh, there was a joke somewhere. Where did I miss the joke? What does a slice of toast wear to bed? Jammies. Oh, that's a good one for my little boy's grandma. He's going to tell her that one tomorrow on the way to school. But we're excited. It's snowing here and we have a two-hour delay called already. Okay, now it's our, we got vanilla ice cream, but here's what's cool about this set. I'm going to open my vanilla ice cream, and it's, it's not glittery, but what's neat about it, it kind of reminds me of, um, of LOL Kitty Litter. This is a little hard. Our house is a little cold, though, so I'm wondering if that's it. Um, it's stretchy like slime. It's gooey like slime. Look at that. That's cool. Kind of like marshmallow. But we could make a little scoop of it and scoop it right on somewhere in Woo! Woo! <laughs> Oh my goodness, boys and girls. I'm so sorry. This ice cream, if you've ever scooped ice cream before, you have to have... <laughs> uh... 
Just one second, my friends. We are having some technical difficulties that is cracking my house up. Okay. Um, so, I don't know if there's something in the ice cream. I don't think so. But we could make an ice cream sandwich. I'm going to pass it off to my girls so we can get on to the next one. Um, and it tells us in the directions that you scoop. Oh, no, there is a character hidden inside of it. So they're going to try to dig that out. They say a character is hidden inside the dough. While we do that, though, let's move on to this one. This one, we've done one like it, it before, and we found it to be so much fun. I think this is a My Little Pony set. And their heads blow up. Do you remember that? This is a Series 1 Hatchem. It's not a My Little Pony set. It's just a unicorn set, but we love unicorns. Um, we love anything. When I was a little girl, I loved ponies, and I... I remember the Christmas that I got the My Little Pony Stable, which was so special. I had wanted it for so many Christmases. I think I have enough plastic off. Maybe not. I gotta get it off. Okay, now what do I do? Maybe it's not hidden in there. Um, how do I do this? <laughs> I don't know if it was going to blow. Uh-oh. My friend is not blowing up. Do I need to hit the bottom? <laughs> I wonder what this was for. It seems like we have a dud. <clears throat> its head is not blowing. Oh, that's sad. It's a cute little unicorn. Um, bummer. Bummer. Let's see. Well, let's see what we can figure out here. Nope, there's a little. If I look carefully in top of the eggshell, I'm trying to get it out. There is a Hatchem's Collector's Guide. And we got Gwyneth, the white unicorn. And Gwyneth, oh, is ultra rare, but Gwyneth doesn't work. Um, my daughters are going to look at this and see what they can discover. See if they can make Gwyneth grow. Because Gwyneth is an ultra rare. Here, look at what my kiddos just made. An ice cream sandwich. Mm, that strawberry vanilla smells amazing. You know, I think our little friend was... Oh. Let's go back to this. My daughter said... Hit that. Oh, good thing for my girls. But now... <laughs> now it looks <laughs> uber weird. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little scary. <laughs> Um, we'll let her keep growing on the front stage. Um, how fun is that? And we'll give her an ice cream sandwich to munch on as she grows. Oh, let's go to this. This was a newer one. This is Best Furry Friends. And you know we love furry friends. We have a furry friend in our house that just desperately wants to be on our show. We don't know why. She just is always trying to get in the camera. We have to give her some puppy treats. Maybe that's what she knows that she'll get puppy treats. Okay, so it looks at like a little dog house. Or a little circus wagon, kind of. And we're going to pull out the map. I just don't like how our camera is. After our mishap, it just went crazy. So best furry friends, we can get different bags, and then we can get different furry friends. 
Let's see about this because ours looks a little unique. Ours doesn't look... So our bag seems common. Let's talk about the bag first. It's this one. Oh, good gravy. Another technical difficulty. The phone just popped right out of the stand. Oh, my friends. I'm so sorry for this action-packed um, episode. So the bag is the pink clamshell style. And then we got a rare BFF. It is a puppy with their paw up. Nope, it looks like a unicorn. Blue jelly blue. It's a unicorn. Very adorable. Um, kind of tricked me with the name of this one. Best Furry Friends. I was expecting it to be furry, but I guess not. But that's fun. Those would be fun to collect. And we'll put the doghouse right out there. And the thing by its owner. Now, we've got a few things left. Um, let's go to the party pop teeny. I mean, if the phone's already fallen, our camera's already fallen a few times, we might as well have it pop over again. So here's our party pop teeny bag. And in our bag, oh, we have a little monkey balloon. This seems vaguely familiar. And a cat mask. I wonder if we got the same one we got the last time. And a monkey mask. And some stickers. We love stickers. And then the little cue card. And let's take out our party popper. Um, take off the plastic. Mm, sometimes I'm just so bad with the plastic. Just make it so complicated to get open, which is good. You don't want to ruin the surprise. Here is the pull strip. Of course, the pull strip never works for me. I always have to... Oh, good gravy. I am so sorry, boys and girls. Let's see here. Can I help the perforation? Don't try this at home. It doesn't seem super safe. But it's okay for a grown-up. There we have some plastic coming off. Oh, and now we have one little piece. Maybe that little piece isn't going to be so bad there. Okay, so here... It says pull, so we're gonna pull that apart. And we've got, oh, five bags to open. Good gravy, this is an extravaganza. We have a party hat. And we have cat ears. You know, I'm thinking we got the same one we had before. Did you ever see that episode? I don't know if that one got uploaded by my creative director. <laughs> Otherwise known as my daughter. And a little blower. And some soda. And a pet monkey. One of my daughters loves monkeys. 
Now what does it say to do? Pull, pull tire. I gotta pull this piece up. What my? Oh, that's why because I have to spin. Oh, and I shot it <laughs> right at my son. <laughs> explosion but we got this girl now let's see <laughs> um, <laughs> that went right in my son's face um, the eye. it hit you in the eye are you okay my friend yes. good we got Lily and then can you go look over there to see if there's any fun pieces we're missing Oh, that might just be confetti. We might not be missing it. Um, is this another pop? Let's see here if I can open it. Oh, I, had, I was turning it the wrong way. Ooh! And we have a cake on this side. Those are fun to open. You know, we've got two more to open, and we've got a big mess in our house. Um, so, if you remember last time, these guys were a gross, slimy mess. I mean, look at that one. It looks like he's in water. I think they're coming, re they're coming out with season two of these, and that's why maybe the slime is getting, this slime is uber gross. It's like water. It's so gross. I'm gonna rescue this guy. Oh, so gross. So gross. So gross. But, ooh, we got this little friend. Give him a bath. Let's do the orange one. This slime looks normal. Like it's not mutant slime. Let's cut this slime open. Oh, it's sticky. And it's icky. Oh, look at that. That's some good slime going right there. Um, this guy has... I don't want it to go on my carpet. <laughs> This guy has purple hair, just some purple hair. We're gonna give him a bath. Um, we have our original who came in the container and so he should be okay. And now we have some blue slime left. Um, And then we have the blue. Ooh, blue slime is always the nicest. Look at this nice slime. That's the perfect, oh, look at that perfect slime. And we got this little friend with the perfect blue slime. It must be something in the slime that makes the blue so great. Um, that, so if we take a peek, we got four great friends um, to ride in our battle box, which we really love to play with here. Okay. We've got one more mess. Today seemed like a mess of openings. And our last thing, put some of these friends over here, um, is another LOL fuzzy pet. Now, my girls are really hoping and wishing for that monkey. Let's see what we get. Look at how well I opened that one. So, ooh, we got a different one because this one says new coat. New coat. I wonder if my girls are scoping out what one that is yet. 
I wonder what new coat could be. No, we're going to keep it a surprise. Oh. And my fuzz is so fly. Get fuzzy with it. Oh, just reminds me of Will Smith. We were listening to him today. Here is our shampoo bottle, and here is our container, um, and our filter. Filter's pretty. I don't think I'm going to open the fuzzy character quite yet. Maybe should I open the fuzzy first? No, I'm getting some head shapes now. So, first item is a red scoop, and it has an eaten apple core. And then we have a little blue bow with maybe a bell on it. And then we have a blue and gold bottle. And we know this is first handle. So now for our Fuzzmeister. Ugh. I just looked at my hand and I think I... It is blue tastical. It kind of, I wonder if it's a horse. If you look at the long tail, the little scrunch of hair on the top. So I'm going to put it in. And I don't know what my daughter's going to do to it. Um, I'm thinking we got Nay Majesty who is a fancy. Um, the raccoon that we got was a fancy too. You put it in that shampoo bottle and then I think you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you shake the fur all off. That's what LOL fuzzies are about. I was so lucky you got to hear my great singing. I'm sorry about that. No wonder it had an apple core. It was eating that apple. So now, let's look what this pony came with. Ooh, this is good sand. Look at how that just crumbles and breaks apart. I like this sand. Was there something? No, nope, nothing in there. <gasps> Little red shoes. Those are adorable. And four shoes. And where's the last one? Right there. Our last shoe. Where is this pony? We're waiting for it. Oh, my daughter. Oh, my daughter. So, we have it in this water and we shake it up. Oh, <laughs> my daughter is telling me, be careful. There's holes on the side where the purse string should go. And so you shake it all about. <laughs> I can't think somebody's worried about the house. <laughs> oh, but it did not come clean. Look it. It's got a mess. I guess I should shake it some more. Oh, it's getting all over. Yuck. Let's bring over a bucket of water. It's still not very clean. This is a mess, LOL. Just a big mess. Let's see if I give it a little bath. Um, Name Majesty. You can see it still has some of the blue fur all over. It's just a big mess. It just doesn't come off. This pony doesn't have doesn't want a haircut, it doesn't seem, boys and girls. Do you see the water spraying at you? Good thing this isn't a feel of vision where you're going to get wet. I think I got some more of it off, but not all of it. Look at his pony still. <laughs> now I'm turning hairy. What is up? Um, let's try a little bit more. We'll put an ice cube in there. Maybe that'll scrape some of it off. And shake, 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 shake the fur off, 
shake the fur off. My kids feel bad for you that you have to listen to my singing. Mm. They've had to listen to it for life. <laughs> I, I can't get all the fur off. We might have to see it clean in action on the next episode. I'm going to dip it in some cold water. Let's see what she does. Another spitter. I don't see anything that comes up with the cold water. I don't know if it changes for the cold. Do they all change for cold? It doesn't seem like it. It doesn't seem like something's coming on. Well, my friends, thank you for the long episode today of Toy Love and Teach Her. We had a blast. Lots of new toys in our house. Um, and sorry for the camera mishaps, but you know, mistakes happen and we keep going with it. Until next time with some new toys, we'll see you. Don't forget to read to all of your animals. And if you have snow, I hope you get a snow day tomorrow because that's what we're hoping for. Take care.